So what was it like to watch that with basically your, your hometown crowd? <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, that's a good question. It's a very simple question, but why can't I even answer it? I think a lot of people here today actually had seen it in Toronto, so I kind of just felt like I was at home in my living room with some friends over watching it. <laughs> I talked to Charlie tonight, and he tells me you're not working together anymore. Mm -hmm. And what uh, brought that about? Mm. Um, that's yeah. Mm. That's, I don't really have comments. No, well, yeah, he sorry. he had quite a few. I'm uh, sure he did. Yeah, he just <laughs> felt that your drive isn't the same as it used to be. Mm -hmm. You feel you're just as driven as you always were. I I feel like if I wasn't driven, mm. I would have kept everything the same because I was mm. comfortable mm. how I was. And uh, if I didn't want to improve, I would have left everything the same and stayed in my comfort zone. You're working with Kara Rowe now, is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Is that a long-term arrangement you think that's where you're going to do going forward? Yeah, we have uh, talked about, um, made the arrangements and plans that we're going to be training together until 2016. So you, you don't feel that um, there's any distractions here? You're still the same fighter you always were? Yeah. You think you're just as confident going forward that things will be what you expect them to be? Um, just as confident that things will be how mm. I expect well, them Well, you, you expect to, 2016, I imagine you're a stinking gold medal in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, no, definitely mm. we have mm. to. We're breaking down mm. these next three years, mm. and, I mean, there's uh, a lot has to change, mm. obviously, mm. but I feel like we're on the right path mm. to make those changes come about. What are you, the things you think you need to change? Um, mainly mm. uh, the way I'm training. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do differently now? Uh, well, what am I trying to do differently in training is just to really um, just stay focused and, and work mm. hard and mm. learn new things. I mean, I've been boxing for a very long time. Mm. Sometimes it's, you think it's hard to learn new things, but that's, uh, that's the goal because I really think there's a lot out there that I have yet to learn, so I'm excited for it. Looking forward to it. Do you think maybe things got stale because the two of you have been together for so long? Well, I mean, that's mm. that's typically mm. something that can mm. happen, right? Mm. You know, when a, a coach and athlete know each other so well, you kind of get um, very stagnant, and I mm. feel like um, the improvement in the last little while has not been the way um, it could be. And, um, yeah, so I'm just, you know, looking forward to um, continuing with my boxing career and improving. Mm. So what's the next step? What's the next goal on the agenda? Well, the next big, mm. big thing is going to be um, the Canadians. Mm. We used to have them in January. Now we're going to start having them in the fall. So this October will be the mm. national championship. And then next year, everything will start to you know pick up with the uh, Commonwealth Games and World Championship. And then the following year, the Pan Am Games. And then next thing you know, it's the Olympics. And as, until you hear different about weight classes, your plan is 75 kilograms yeah. going forward. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Unless we hear something differently and decide that a different category is more suitable, um, right now the plan is just to stay at 75 and to um, get better and get stronger in this category. All right.